This is part three of a five-part mini-series reviewing the top-down Artie Battery 201 model tester. To really put this tester to work in the motorcycle and power sports categories, we chose a big twin Harley-Davidson. We really wanted a good strenuous test on a model known to get batteries, starters, and charging systems a real workout. We also chose an older model with no compression releases. Let's zoom in and get to testing. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. All right, here's a, a neat little trick for uh, getting larger style jumper cables or anything to work on a, on a battery in tight quarters. I actually learned this at Harley-Davidson University through one of their uh, uh, training classes there. And uh, man, I, I just thought this was the coolest idea ever and can't believe I hadn't thought of it before. So hopefully uh, you'll find this really useful. A couple pair of vice grips, they're not welded on to where I'm hurting or digging the teeth in. Just on there enough to where I get some good connections and I don't have to worry about I think touching or shorting out or maybe you know a cable, especially if I'm doing jumper cables. We don't have a lot of room between the battery and frame and you could make contact. So this is a great safe way to go about uh, doing a load test or uh, jumping a battery, whatever you need to do. Okay, we have a maintenance free. This has 310. Okay. Okay. Okay, 300 uh, rated at 310. Uh, it's starting to show me that the health of my battery might be a little bit low. The best thing to do in this case is go ahead and recharge the battery and then retest and see if there's actually a problem. Just could be low from sitting or from doing all the testing. I want you to notice a great feature of the RD Battery 201 tester. Since we are specifically choosing a cranking test, we get a pop-up screen that shows the cranking time and the voltage that was available during the cranking. As a rule of thumb, we don't want to see less than 9 volts while cranking under compression. As you can see, we just barely hit over 8 volts at one point. This is your clue to stop and charge the battery before doing any electrical testing. If you see the same low numbers after charging, then you would know the battery is on its way out. As you can see, our battery returned some good numbers after a quick charge. Notice the 12.71 higher voltage to the right. This is exactly why voltage testing alone is not enough. When it comes to batteries, we want to know the cold cranking amps available. This tester takes the guessing out of that equation. As we move on to the charging system test, we will see a few new screens automatically cycle through. The ripple test and load testing screens will come first. Next, you'll see a charging test screen that will prompt an action step from you to increase and hold the RPM at 2500 RPM for 5 seconds and then press enter. Note, watch video 5 in this series for a deep dive into tips and techniques for best using this tool. This RPM step is of great significance when testing and comparing results to OEM specifications. Many models require 3000, even 5000 RPM when performing this test. I will do a deep dive explanation in that video. Let's move on and look at the results and show the printer feature. Alright, so now that we've done all the tests, we can go ahead and we're going to pick the review data. Hit OK. And now we can just toggle through everything really quick. See the battery says it's good. State of charge, internal resistance. We don't have a spec for that. The rating we rated it at. Uh, the crank time says cranking low, 8.95 volt. Uh, the charging system test. So you can see here, loaded and unloaded, well with its specifications you'd find in the service manual. And, you know, back to ground one. So let's go back to, we're just going to back up, we're going to hit the uh, print data. Back up here, hit OK, and voila. Now we have a documented history, uh, date stamped and timed for all the work that we checked. It would be great to put with the work order or just uh, if you're a do-it-yourself or you can put in your personal file or for the customer, you can pass on. All right, there you have it, the Top Don uh, battery tester here. We are thrilled with it. It's become our new staple of what we're going to use in the shop. We'll have all the links below once again for how you define one for yourself. 
We'd like to thank our sponsor in this video, Top Down, for choosing us to review this product and get it out there. Uh, they're going to share the video as well on their medias. Uh, they're just waiting for that big thumbs up from us. And uh, Top Down, on your guys' battery tester here, we are absolutely giving it a thumbs up. Uh, and can't thank you enough for choosing us to, uh, to be the uh, deliverer of how this tool works and the uses and the functions and everything else that goes with it. So, as always, if you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button yet or notification bell so you don't miss out on prizes, raffles, new videos, everything you can think of all uh, around HowToWrench.com and ToolsWrench.com, hit it now. Alright friends, uh, as always, make it a great day, keep wrenching, and we'll see you soon.